Cracking man, it's your homeboy the Groove here, Groove Speaks Podcast in the building for episode six. And I got a very special guest today. Uh, one of my favorite shows out of Tampa, Sweetman Podcast. What's cracking, fellas? Yo, appreciate it. Hey man, thanks y'all, thank y'all for coming in, bro. We were supposed to have this shit done like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like been, back in the day. Yeah, we've been we, cooking up for a minute and yeah, we just man. Finally, uh, um, it's like post uh like covid like yeah I remember we were like yeah, talking bro. about it and then all that stuff happened yeah bro so i'm finally yeah. happy we Pre-COVID. got this shit done because yeah. like we was posted on our both our insta stories and everybody's yes, like when it's gonna happen yeah, you know what i'm saying so we don't, we don't want to mislead the fans you feel no, me nothing uh, but um introduce yourselves man oh yeah, for sure for sure my name is uh will one third of the superman podcast aka mr potter aka curve Gotti. do not go into my mentions mm-hmm. do not slide to my dms i will not reply Okay. Okay. <laughs> you ready to go? You ready to go? Um, it's your boy Nick, aka the anti-hero. Mm. Again, one third of the pineapple. You know, of the pineapple. <laughs> of the yeah, Cedar yeah. Man crew. You know, but. yes, sir. And we have, we have a, obviously we have our other, uh, our boy uh, T. Couldn't be here today in the yeah. building. He has some um, things he had to take care of, obviously. Right. So, yes. but no, he's with us. In Shout out to him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I appreciate re- y'all. Got us the whole pineapple and everything. Yeah, yeah man. man. So I wanted to, before we get to that. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? How did y'all form y'all show, and, and what's the significance? behind y'all name um you may take i'll, I'll yeah, say this ahead. so like i don't know if y'all ever heard the song sweeter man by ram riddles no nah, i ain't never heard it no um we'll have to we'll play for y'all one time real quick but um <laughs> but this song it's essentially like the sweeter man it's like he's pretty much talking about like guys that like get girls okay and, like, i'm, all, I'm with that yeah yeah they do with that. you know what i mean so like way before we even did the podcast like just me, Will, and T have just naturally always been like, you know, when we were out, you know, right. on the streets, out and about, you know, doing our you know, things. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know we always called Clint called ourselves the Sweeter Man. Okay, you know what I mean, so one day we're just like, yo, let's let's do a pod. Like we have so much information. Yeah, like, and, yeah, and yeah, kind of, basically, one summer, you know, I think it was like 14, 12 to 14. That's when we like really honed into that song, and yeah. like we were just living like a lifestyle for like a little minute. So yeah, yeah. So I feel so, like, yeah. So we have to feel like we have a lot of experiences. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, we're yeah. I think we're at like an age where we like. Fuck it. Like, we might as well just, yeah, like, 100, man. Just, just tell people what, you know, what yeah. we've been through. What give we our experiences. Through. You know, we're not the only ones kind of going through shit like that. So, I mean, right. we so, just kind of give, like, some... So, the when, like, what year did y'all kick everything off? Last year. It was a year ago. A year? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, for a year like, maybe, like, July. Yeah, oh, okay. July. yeah, so... Man, because um, I always... Because I've been doing my show for about a good three years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I used to be in a duo, but by myself. So about, like, y'all a year and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've been around for a while, so I'm always looking for talent yeah. in Tampa, you know what I'm saying, to work with or either yeah. like just repost their shit. So I seen y'all coming up and I just was reposting y'all shit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Cause for I was sure. a fan, you feel me? Sure. Y'all have good shit, dog. And I'm like, my favorite episode that y'all did was uh I think Simps when y'all saw oh, the Sims, Sims one. Yeah. That shit was funny, <laughs> dog. That was one of my favorites. And then when y'all was talk- y'all was also talking about um um how men I think y'all had uh destiny on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that was funny yeah, you know she, what i'm saying yeah, she, so she gave us a lot of uh insight and, and her own opinion yeah, about a lot of yeah. things, which is great we, you know we always want to like uh we always want to like, give everybody their you know their own voice and their own, you know, opinions and stuff yeah, that we don't want to yeah. like you know you got to think like there's you know we three guys so once right. in a while you know like you know shout out to destiny like yeah we, shout out to destiny. absolutely like, having that female perspective was pretty dope. Like sometimes we have our intern Jojo, like she'll come on and like, we'll have her talk on the mic and whatnot. Yeah, but, she she featured in a know, couple. Cause like sometimes it's important. Cause I think for us, I think most of our fan base is females. Mm-hmm. Um, so right. 
when they're listening, sometimes they want to chime in. They feel like they're in the room, and they're like, "Well, but I, I disagree." But yeah, when you have someone like Destiny or someone like JoJo being able to like chime in like and say like their piece, mm -hmm. then like I've had a lot of girls, you know, message us and be like, "Hey, yo, she said exactly what I was feeling." Exactly. Like, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you guys handled that correctly. So that's yeah, definitely. We have to we have to keep keep everybody, you know, giving you know their voices and stuff in that, and keep keep it like keep it honest conversation and like you know just. No, not like try to appeal on anybody's like perspective. Right. And shit. So that's probably the most important. Part. I respect how y'all do a different vers versatile topics. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So y'all very well rounded. It's entertaining. It's funny. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. have like a lot of good messages and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We and, put... and then y'all also, what I respect too, y'all have like an operation. Like y'all have interns. Y'all have. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that's real yeah, shit. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Because well, when you're doing business, you have to go through the right protocols yeah, yeah, to holler sure. at me. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Just like if you want to get to me, you got to go through them. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. yeah. So you know, I definitely respect that. But we're gonna get into the first topic, which is about double standards. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? So how how y'all fellas feel about the double standards between men and women? Bro, definitely, definitely exists, man. It exists. <laughs> definitely, man. Exists. it does. It does. <laughs> I had I had a couple of conversations with uh, a couple of females about it. You know, kind of like. Gain their perspectives of like what they what's the double standard for them and do they go through and stuff and they said yeah I mean every single day like as far as like I think one example was kind of like I mean just like really random but it's just like if a you know if a guy you know a double standard is like if both of the if both of like you know the genders like agree with it right like if a guy says that no that's crazy and then the girl says that's crazy that's a double standard right so like I think one of it is being like can a guy like be like bisexual. And that was one of the, that was one of the things I always said. And like for the for the women that they were like, nah. Like if a guy was like, <laughs> a guy, if a guy was to like do that with a guy and then come to me, like it's not working with me. Yeah, and, that's, and that's a, I think that's a double standard because a girl could like kind of be more fluid and everybody. Yeah. Like, oh, that's what's, what's, that's that's what's up. That's a fact. That's what's up. That's yeah. fact. I mean, like what you're saying is if a guy like hooks up with a guy, a girl won't look at him the same as far as like if a girl, you know, yeah. guess what a girl, like yeah. we still, like we're, oh, we're like, cool, like let's yeah. get it. Let me get in with y'all. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm in it. I'm in it. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's just crazy to me, man, like double standards, just like whether like, for instance, you know, domestic violence, you mm -hmm. feel me? Mm -hmm. Like if, you know, by all means, am I not justifying a man putting his hands on a woman? That's, right. you know, we don't do that. Right. But like, if a woman beat the shit out of a guy, cats will laugh at him on yeah, social oh, media. Absolutely. Yeah, he's he's clowned. It's just like, but if he does that to a female, it's, oh, it's over. He done. Yeah, he's over. And so let's flip flop the Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion situation. Mm -hmm. That's what I felt was coming. That's yeah, what I felt was coming. <laughs> let's flip flop. Bro. Right, what okay. if she shot him? Mm. People be like, damn dog, you couldn't run. Why you yeah, let her shoot you in the feet? Couldn't run. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean. True. I, I mean, I'm not really too clear on exactly what happened in that situation, but you're right. If she did shoot him, mm -hmm. then she might actually get more props of being like, oh, man, you shot Tory Lanez yeah. versus like, yo, you a sucker for shooting her. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah, there is that double standard for it sure. Y'all think his career is over? Because uh, you got 6 9 uh, on your snitching. Nah, I know. That's know. crazy. I mean, personally, Tor I mean, he has to, like, his post has to go to work, man. Like, for real, for real. <laughs> I feel like people rebrand. They're gonna find a rebrand. Yeah. He's gonna find some kind of move. I mean, he had the whole, you know, quarantine radio and yeah. like his like kind of career in that sense was kind of popping off. It was. Yeah, no. so, it definitely was. He was like on the, he was like on the height of his career, honestly. I just don't like, you know, how how some cats like they get it and they fuck up and fumble. Like, bro, yeah, yeah. they was gonna throw you the bag, Yo, bro. For real. He had like a lot. He was like independent too, right? He's yeah, like independent yeah. Deal. And then yeah. that just show you, bro, your ego. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, had to learn yeah. lesson about my ego, bro. Like yeah. It can fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if you thinking your mind is telling you one way, then your ego can fuck you up, bro. Like yeah. you gotta be careful with that shit, man. Definitely. But like also with the double standards, it's like pain when you on a date with your girl. You mm, know what I'm saying? Okay, I know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I got you. <laughs> like if like you look like a clown if you don't pay off for the first don't day, pay, but yeah. you don't know this girl from anything, right? Like, but it's, it's always already expected, you know. What I, I mean? think, but that's why there's a double standard that exists because, like, it's a norm. Like, I know a lot of people say, like, shivery, you know, shivery's dead, yeah, right? Like, yeah. right. But at the same time, we're fighting for equality, but we still want the guy that opens the door, we still want the guy that's gonna pay. Yeah. But at the same time, I also want to be equal. You know what I mean? So like, <laughs> there's like certain things where it's it's yeah. a double standard yeah. in their favor as well. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I was just I telling Mike the other day. He like a mentor to me, and mm -hmm. I was telling him how women want equality. 
I was like, okay, get out there and cut the grass and, 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 oh, yeah. and do construction and all, you know what I'm saying? If you yeah. want equality, I, sometimes I feel like, now some ladies, I'm not saying, oh, I'm looking at the camera, but I know some <laughs> ladies, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's like, they some some females play the 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 uh, women's, the feminist card, you know, at, at their convenience, you oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you know absolutely. what I mean? Yeah. If you want equality, do what a man does. Yeah, do, do what we all do. You Build know the train tracks. <laughs> Help them build the stadium at Bucks. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's one of those things, man. It, that shit ain't fair, dog. And it, it's like, but what you gonna do is just, yeah. that's yeah, just yeah, life. Yeah. You feel me? Like, you know what I mean? But um, yo, man, it's your homeboy, the Guru here, Guru Speaks Podcast, episode six. I'm back with the homies of Sweetman Podcast. We back from our break, refresh. You feel Absolutely me? Absolutely needed. Um, so what was we gonna talk about? Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna ask y'all. Yo, tell me about the significance of the, the the pineapple, the fruit. Tell everybody like what that mean to y'all. I think mean, you had a better, uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, better, better on, yeah. Um, I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, nah, I just, I mean, obviously on surface level, right? Right. You, know, right. you got the pineapple, sweeter man, sweet right. pineapple. Right. Um, the way I always looked at it is when that song came out. You know, it's a summer song, right? Mm-hmm. Sweeter man. When you think of the summer, what's what's the fruit? The go to fruit. Pineapple. Pineapple, yeah. You get that in there. And actually, we were just talking. I was just talking to Mike, too, about it, and he made a valid point. Like, when it comes to that juice, yeah. right? Yeah. In, in, inside your drink, right? You, yeah. It gets you in that, that mood. You ah, know what I mean? Shout talk out, to you know, me. It's yeah. like, the, you know, that Caribou Lou. 151 Caribou 151, Lou. Malibu Rum. Get you right. Yeah. Pineapple does juice. Does it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that shit deadly, dog. So I guess, but I mean, no, but I mean, for some reason, it just stuck with us. I mean, we all fuck with pineapples. We have yeah. we have people DM us all the time saying like, like the other day we had someone go, yo, my uncle's wearing a pineapple shirt on thought of y'all podcast. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? You're just that's like, dope, oh, man. And then, and then if you think, like, I mean, there, I've seen a lot of spines of like uh, girls with bikinis and stuff at the pineapple joints <laughs> and all that. Yeah. And then hard. I always make a comment like, oh, I see, yeah. you, I see you fuck with us. <laughs> it's free marketing. Y'all, Free marketing, yeah. Y'all never thought about like branding yourselves and like moving merch? Yeah. Yeah, we talked yeah, we about it. In. We talked about it. Yeah. Shit, that's like the perfect, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like y'all wouldn't even have to have your name. You just have the symbol. Yeah, the symbol. Exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, no, we, we have a one on one right here. I just I just made one. It just says shut up and pause. Oh, that's hard, man. Podcast. Y'all selling those? The double entendre. One. It's yeah. kind of hard, right? I'll make, I'll it's make a pro one. Yeah, yeah, man. I, yeah, I, I need one, one bro. We'll one. For real. No, I'll definitely. I could definitely make some more. Shut up and pause, yeah. Real, for real. Um. So what we got next, man? Oh, I know you're talking about the double standard. Yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we talked about it on like a previous pod, but like, how do you feel like girls can have mad guy friends, mm. but guys can't have yeah, mad girlfriends? Like none, like not even sisters. Very true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not even your mom. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like look, say like, look, look, look. straight up, bro. Yo, you talking? Shit. You talking to a girl, right? And, right. And she's out with she's out at with her friends, and she's posting her and these dudes. <laughs> right, right. As a guy, you can't be like. Yo, who's that? Yo, who, who's that guy? Because if you do that, you insecure. Now you're whatever. Secure, like, you're yeah. jealous. Why are you you're, asking me? Why are you asking all these questions? questions? But you know, but, <laughs> but a guy, the minute he posts him with a girl, bro, it's yo, over. World War Three coming, man. Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Yeah. You, you fucking her? <laughs> <laughs> like holy shit. Yeah. I mean, like damn, this is my cousin. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Yeah, for real. This is my fucking niece. Jesus. But nah. Um, I mean, he does, he is right though because I've been into situations like in my past and stuff and. There was this uh, one female that she was like, she was like really into me and shit, right? right. We was like, do you know, going back and forth, back and forth, and then like I always see like a dude around though, like always low key, like mm. in, in pictures, you know, maybe in like parties or something or like get togethers. I'm like, yo, this dude's always around, but yeah, who is yeah, it? Yeah. And then you know, I made one comment. I was like, oh, like who's Duke? Like, is, yeah, that, yeah. Your man? is that your friend or yeah, whatever? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's like that's my brother. He she hit me with the brother card and li- <laughs> and unbeknownst to me, two months later, because it didn't work out. Two yeah, months yeah. later, they're like in a full fledged relationship. Oh, but that's your brother. That's your brother, right? Ah, okay. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? Yeah, I was like, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, like you try to like hide it like in plain sight, but yo, I ain't dumb, bro. Just tell me the just truth. Just let me know. Yeah, if, it's if like, you double dip and let me know, so I get out. Yeah, yeah. It's just like when you ask somebody something, you already know the truth. You Absolutely. just want to see if they yeah, can yeah, yeah. exactly. If you respect me enough not to lie to me, absolutely. Me? You already had like in your mind, you was like, I already know what's up. I'm just see if she gonna be real. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. That's crazy. I, just, I kept it real, and that's probably why I didn't work out because she wasn't real about it. That's crazy. Yeah, man. man. It's like you lie about something small like that. Yeah, I'm man. Tell what you a lot of. Yeah, you word. Really? Hell yeah. <laughs> Took my fucking bank account information, yo. <laughs> <For> <laughs> Jesus. <fucking yeah. laughs> but yeah, man. It's like I saw a meme yesterday on IG, and it was uh saying how females go on dates. Mm. They, they take a picture of the food. Yeah. Never you. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then Duke was like. 
like in the back like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like that's. I mean, that shit happened to me. Happened, you know? uh, yeah. it happened to everybody. Happened to me too. Yeah. But see, but we can never answer like they go on all these trips, man. Mm. Who's behind that camera? Right. Who is behind that camera? Or the boat Young trip? Kid. Who's driving the boat? Yeah, who's who's driving the boat? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, I, I see you in saloon, but who riding that yeah. boat with you, yo? <laughs> who in the hotel? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know it's crazy. Uh, who's flicking up with you like that, yo? <laughs> Man, you know it's crazy. This was a while ago. I was um, talking to this girl, and uh, she was like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't go out much. I don't go on dates." I'm like, "Okay, All right. you think I'm boring?" Yesterday? That's crazy. <laughs> but okay, I'll go along. Yeah, with we, we got it. <laughs> and um, she was like, uh, "I'm like, so what you up to?" Mind you, I already saw her IG story. Mm. I'm like, "What you up to?" She was like, "I'm just at home." She take a picture of the food. Yo. Right, right? <laughs> but yo, check this out. Try snitching herself. <laughs> check this out. Y'all know how the, the little um. The, on IG, we take a picture. You can say where it's at. Not that. Oh, the, the, the boomerang shit. Oh, where it moves. Yeah, oh, yeah, the boomerang. Yeah, yeah. So she thinks she's slick. So she take a picture of the food, move the phone. I see cuz just. <laughs> I see the elbow. Oh, the elbow. I see a veiny elbow. I'm like, I, that's a man, dog. You know what I'm saying? You, you trying to. Okay. Okay. And then, hey, hey and about a like, couple days later, she was like, I was like, how was your weekend? She was like, oh, I was, I was chilling at home. Oh, I was home oh, all day. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's what's up. Well, that's crazy. Yeah. Right? I was like, what a coincidence. Too. Me too. <laughs> Shit, that's bro, crazy. Yo. Yeah, bro. Females, man. Dry, it's, yo, it's funny because they be like, they just drive such on themselves. Like, yeah. Yeah, and like when you when you approach it, it's like, oh, it's nothing. Ain't nothing crazy. That's my cousin. Um, yeah, my yeah, you know. Just, oh, he's gay. Oh, family family didn't. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, gay. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't think I did. I've got that a few you got times. That a few yeah, times. yeah, a few I'm like, times. Yeah, best friend. I mean, you got a lot of gay Man, friends. Why are you behind you all the time? That <laughs> I'm like, she was like, yeah, he seen me naked. He, he, he's gay. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, well, if he cuz my bra on, yeah, <laughs> if cuz playing his cards right. He he should pretend to be gay, so you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, you know what though? But if you crazy. flip that and like <laughs> say you had like a real attractive like lesbian friend, yeah, like, just oh, super sure. sexy, and she just you know runs up, grabs your shit, just joking yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, like one of the guys. Gonna feel, she gonna feel the type of way about that. Well, yeah, but even with that, bro, like if double standards in that. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, fellas, since you bring that up, bro, uh, about a few months ago, this girl I was talking to at the time, she was like, uh, we were talking about double standards, ironically. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a video. No, she was like, when I see you, I'm, I'm going to grab you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a man. I ain't going to be mad. Like, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go, yeah. We'll go on. <laughs> so I was like, so same rules apply for me. Mm. I can grab your breasts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not that I'm going to yeah. outwardly really do it. Right, right, right. I'm just asking her, can, can I? She was like, no. I was like, so you said you was going to grab my joint in public yeah. at the mall store Whenever. or whatever. Yeah. Wherever yeah. you, you Whenever you feel like doing it. <laughs> But I can't do it. Yeah, I'm crazy. She's like, I'm a woman. That's our sexual part. I'm like, the fuck you think? What was my shit is? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Like she a, was like, it's a tool, dog. It's a, she was like, it's you. You guys are men. There's no uh, respect for you guys' body parts. I'm Yo, like, oh, that's, a lot of women really feel. No, like that, yeah, bro. that's a fact. Because if you think about like. We can even take it to that level, of, like the only fans. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yo, yeah. girls ain't flocking to the guy. Nah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. guys are flocking to the girls. You know right. what I mean? For sure. So, like, that's where I think it is. Like, you know, if if they, cause like girls could like charge like five, ten, fifteen dollars a month for subscriptions and they or whatever, pay. and they go pay. But then when a the guy's like, yo, my only fans account live now, they got like one one yeah, girl one from like <laughs> yeah, one girl from like Antarctica, dog. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> y'all ever y'all ever been groped like that in public? Yeah, I have, yeah. I have. When I was in school, yeah, yo, it was I had nuts. that shit. I had that shit at a Walmart, bro. Yeah, you know yo, I mean? what the? Yeah, man. I was just I mean, like, about right. <laughs> bro, I was like, I was in like college, man. I was just like pushing my car. I was with my roommate, and like some girl walked by me, and she just like grabbed my shit, man. She just like, you know, like she well, she grabbed my ass. She like just grabbed my ass, and I like thought like maybe she her hands was just moving. Yeah, so maybe yeah. Was just like, but then I turned around, and she just looked at me and did, gave me the like, yeah, like what I did you that gonna shit. do? Did that, like, bro, I was terrified, man. I was like, I gotta, I was like we gotta get the fuck yeah, out of here right now. Yeah, she got a case on her dog. <laughs> like aggressive, excuse me, aggressive women like that, bro. It's like they could do that to us. Mm -hmm. We do it to them. Oh, we sexual harassment, yeah. sexual assault. But like you know, and that's what I was trying to tell. We I talked to Will about this, like how you moved in the clubs versus now is so different. Yeah. Like you, back in the day, like when we would club in all the time, like. When you're dancing, like when you would go and like try to grind with a chick, you just crept up behind her, right? 
Right. And you just kind of got to yeah. bond her. And then you got to get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you show up behind she you, would bro. Do, cute. She would do oh, that, or right. she, would, she would look at her friend for approval. <laughs> for approval. Like, there it go. Yeah. There was all these things, but like now, like you can't bro, do didn't that. didn't I tell you about the friend the other day? Mm. You can't do that in this society. No, you can't, bro. Yeah, but see, see, that was back in, you know Yeah, that was like, wow. Now, this generation is like, well, had that shit have Y'all ever got grouped at a bar? Yeah, yeah. Chicks have a girl. Too. Yeah, mm. I had a, I had a girl. She was walking with her man. They were holding hands, and she still grabbed my shit. Damn. He didn't see it. Oh, you talking about? Uh, all right, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that's another story too. Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that, so that, was, that was a wild. She's with a dude. Yeah, she bro with Duke, bro. And he, Damn. And he was just like a, a bystander. And she yeah, was like, yeah. "Yo, I want you, yo." With, Damn. With the hand grab, yo, it was crazy. Mm. She legit would like would split with her man, and like he'd be on the other side of the bar. She kept still trying to get at me. Yeah, like she would like leave him on one side of the bar and then come over, come over there. Yeah. Damn, bro, it's crazy, man. Sweet it's, man, bro. sweet man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dog. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Some, some women really reckless, bro. But I respect, you know, you telling me you putting it on the table. Yeah. But I, I feel like it's just a certain. If you don't want us to do that to you, mm-hmm. don't do that. To yeah, us, exactly. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, I always, do, I always do. Like, I always like. I always value communication with women because, like, you, you just don't know. You can't assume, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, do. like, you have to, like, talk to them, like, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, like, let me know type of shit. Yeah, because, I mean, like, but see, some some women feel like, you know, they flirt with a guy continuously, mm. and then, you you know, you try to make a move, whether you tell her you feeling her or mm-hmm. whatever it could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we ain't like that. I, we just friends. I'm like, well, damn, you. You really <laughs> fucking flirty, yeah. bro. Somebody, yeah, somebody damn, you be, be all, yeah, you be touching all the time. Yeah, you be touching all the time. She's like, oh, we just friends. I'm like, well, that come with benefits or what? <laughs> <laughs> What's the package? We, we, like? we, can talk, we can talk about it, you know? Yeah. But you know, but in, in like, to play devil's advocate, sometimes a girl can just be really nice. Absolutely. And then oh, yeah. I feel like it happens more times than none where a girl's just really nice and then, like, guys perceive that as, right. as, as they want them. Yeah. So, like, I've, I've recognized that. I've seen that, like. Yeah. yeah. So just man, some brothers just be trying too hard. Nah, know? yeah, yeah. And but, they, and they fuck it up for cats see, like us. Yo, know, but it's it's fact. guys like that that make that boost these girls' egos to a level that Facts. now like you can't now you can't even like you talk can't to approach them, them a certain know? type of way because now you might hit them with some like genuine stuff, but you had ten other dudes in her DMs 100. saying some corny ass yeah. you know simp shit. Some some you know, shit. Man, big. you know so, it's crazy. I saw this girl's bio. That shit said um. Who, no, uh, on Twitter. Cause y'all no, on Twitter. no hookups, yeah. Man, they be reckless on Twitter. IG yeah. is bad, but Twitter Twitter's, is just a whole Yeah, nother. Twitter is own entity, dog. No I lo- fucks given. I love it, I love it. <laughs> so the, her bio is like, um, who's going to uh, fuck me over and take advantage of me today? I was like, damn, Yo. that's how bad it's gotten out here Yo. for you to say. She was Some like, reckless shit. yeah, so I'm like, either her uh, self-esteem is like very, Bro. very low. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or that's just the new the standard. That's yeah, the standard. That's, that's what we're at. Yeah. Yeah. It's just crazy, bro. Cause um, females be like, "Oh, you can talk very well. You can communicate." I'm like, at first I used to get offended. I'm like, "Yeah, I'm talking about educated man. Like Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck you, mean I can speak well, but <laughs> exactly. It, that's like you said. That's just a standard now. Yeah. You know what but saying? you know, like we have to understand that when you talk to a girl, you're not. You have to realize she is talking to at least. Three, three, to five, three to five, seven, minimum, eight, got minimum. Mad dudes in the DMs. So like you, wow. to even make her starting five and be in that built-in rotation, <laughs> like you have rotation. to work for that attention. That's uh-huh. essentially what it is, though. Yeah, That's... you're you're battling other guys for her attention. It's crazy. It's the battle of the bees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's different, yo. Like it, this ain't the Notebook, man. You just gonna meet some girl. Yeah, <laughs> yo, they gonna yeah. just meet some girl, <laughs> and then now yo. y'all just. I don't got nobody. You ain't got nobody. Let's spend on the rest of our no, lives together. Yeah, Hell, no. work like that. This I, social media I, went nuts I for that. y'all tell female, like you said, you in that road. Say you finally get from the practice squad onto the roster. Right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. How can you tell if you gonna get enough burn to get on the field? How you know she feeling you? Cause uh, she makes that time for you. Yeah. Everything, like, literally... by the, bro. By the end of the day, time is everything. Right. Everybody claims to be busy, which we are. But yeah. Everybody <laughs> else, but everybody else, like yo, like. <laughs> if they want to make time, they're going to make time. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Percent. But, yeah. like, that's how you know. And then when they do the, sorry, couldn't make it. Oh, yeah. You know, you're six you're, man. You're six man. There's a 20-point lead. You ain't getting in the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, that's just how yeah, it is. We've been, on, we've been on both ends, man, on the bench and starting five. <laughs> how y'all feel about the, uh, you know, the good morning shit? Y'all, y'all buying that still? Like, well, that's kind of overrated now. What do you mean? The good morning text. Is she saying you good morning text and shit like, like that? Like, every day type thing? Yeah, I feel like that's only wifey, man. Only I feel like now uh, the norm is only wifey. Send, is there's an expectation that if you're like in a serious relationship, 100. you get that good morning, good night. But like now the norm is 
People don't even text you. They just stop texting they you that day. Texting, yeah. And then they'll maybe text you the next day. <laughs> yeah, like no bring it back up. This shit like, crazy out here, bro. It's true, bro. It's, it's, it's one of those things where it's just like, <clears throat> you have to know, like y'all said, she not only talking to you, mm -mm. you a fucking fool. If you think you're the only one. you think you're the only one. Now, you can feel like, you, you could tell she feeling you like, like you said, making time. Mm -hmm. And she, the communication mm -hmm. is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they'll, they'll hit you with like, Context clue, like you know, you, like they'll say, like yo, I'm only fucking with you. Like they'll they'll yeah, establish they'll, that, or they'll they'll, they'll they'll do certain things. Like girls will start putting you in a box. Even guys too. Like they'll start to kind of right. put that boundary around you and set yeah. these. Like so now when you go out, you can't just go out no more. You kind of got to let them know now. Mm. Yeah. And now you start to let them know when you get home. Yeah. Then you start to let them know who you with. Yeah. And then and after now time, you're in a relationship. <laughs> and then now you're in a relationship because when you say you want to go out, she goes. Mm. And then now yeah, you can't now, go out. Yeah, the mm, my, this it is has my a background thing on that. Like, we don't, nowadays, when before, when you get in a relationship, you go, do you want to be my girlfriend, right? Right. Yeah, now, just establish full now this is how now, this is the new way of knowing you're in a relationship. If you want to go somewhere, but you have to think, <laughs> is she going to be okay or not if I go? <laughs> yeah. That's the telltale sign if you're in a relationship. Yeah, that's true. For sure. Because, like, some, now, now, like, you know, you just, like, kind of, like, like, now, instead of you establishing, you just kind of, like, get into it now yeah you're like, just kind of in like, it now yeah like he said like it's like it's like levels to it like steps now like no one's like oh you my girl like you're my girlfriend you're my boy <laughs> no i ain't like that no more like he said like now now we, we came to a point in you know society that we have to like take it step by step and then we just happen to get into it now shit you just wake up and you're like shit i'm in a relationship man yeah one day you wake up like the Dwayne way like that commercial when he's like <gasps> yeah, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy man because it, it, it's like it's like one of those things where just like once your feelings get involved, mm -hmm. and that's something you can't help. The emotions is like, damn, I really care about this girl. Mm -hmm. like, like, did she get home safe? And then you, exactly. you you try to feel like, nah, man, I ain't. But you kind of care. And like, you hit up, like, you all right today? Yeah. Or why you mad? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. It's, that shit crazy, bro. Like, okay, let me let me ask you this. You know, just food for thought. I was thinking about it the other day. Uh -huh. You know when like um girls when they say um like. Oh, like I can't like we're all the good men out here. I can't find a man, whatever, like it's, things like that. You know what I mean? Cap. It's cap, right? Yeah, exactly. And let me ask you this: like, like what type of like what like what do you do for that good guy to get to you? Like obviously, like you know the flirt picks or you know the, the ass shots or whatever. You know we don't know IG. You know what it <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Like, but then they say I can't find a man because you're just because you're not giving anybody else but just like picks of like your body. So what kind of men are you attracting? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, are the good guys going to come to you because that's all you provide is, like, a good ass pick? No. But like... see, but look, my thing is this. Like, like, <laughs> For real. But, like, honestly. to me, I don't think I can even answer that. I feel like that's when they need to kind of, like, knock down their ego. Yeah. And go to those, you know those girls that be happy as shit? The dude proposed after two years <laughs> of dating. Ask her, what did, what did she, she do, do to yeah. make him go, yo, she's the one, that's it. Like, right. ask her, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those are the ones I'm always like, damn, like, she must really put it down to this and give this guy what he wants. Exactly. And eventually on our pod, we're actually going to talk about, was it Pick Me Girls? Pick Me mm. Girls. Oh, yeah, Pick Me Girls. Pick that's Me Girls is like a, yeah. a topic that I want to talk about on a future pod, but it's like <laughs> right. girls that are doing things to get picked, yeah. mm. which I think is normal that's what you should that's what you should do why mm. can't you do things that a guy would want and yeah. then in in turn he'll reciprocate those feelings back yeah for sure i always felt like man you get what you put into it when you talk about like he said like how she's making him happy on all accounts mm. i was talking to this girl and um we we go back about like 20 years but we kind of lost touch so i hadn't seen her so i was like 10 years old right mm -hmm. So we talking, I'm like, you know how you been, da, da, da. So we got on the monogamy shit. Mm. So I was like, you know, what kind of guys you like? It's been so long, you feel me? Right. Man, this broad gave me a George Washington list. <laughs> <laughs> George Washington list? No, so, it was kind of, you know, the cliche shit, confident. Yeah. Uh, uh, man of God. Man of God. Funny. <laughs> you know, all the cliche Bro, shit, Bro, all, right? yeah. Sexual, da, da, da. <laughs> oh, sexual. So I go, oh, okay, cool, cool. So, so. I embody all of those, so I go, uh, what can you do for me? Mm. Flip the table back, you feel me? Exactly. They don't like that. Absolutely not. She texts me right back, like, fast that I can put my phone down. My, <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. She copy and paste, bro. Uh, she would have had an answer, bro. She would have had an answer. Check this out. She goes, um, if, if you have to ask me what I bring to the table, we done. Yo. <laughs> for real? Just like that? Straight up. Straight like that. So I go... In my mind, I'm like, the arrogance of a woman, dog. So you feel like you want a thousand things from me. 
Mm-hmm. I ask you one thing, what can you, not even for me, but what you bring to the table, yeah, period. Yeah, exactly. And you say, if you have to ask me what I bring, we done? That's crazy. That's close-minded. Yeah, yeah. so, it's, but I feel like, not all women, but I feel no. like a lot of women that's, because I always feel like this, it's a woman and a girl. Mm-hmm. She still had that girl mindset. A woman yeah, is going to be like, sure. you know what? Take care of my man or Probably, whatever, make, make sure he happy, you feel me? But I've had so many women that tell me these things like, well, I want all this from you, but I'm not giving. And a lot of women feel like I was telling one of my best friends is they feel like once because they give you their body. Yeah. Mm, that, oh yeah. That, that was suffice. That's it. That's, That's it. All I got. That's all I have to give. I can I can talk to talk to you crazy. No. Yeah. Strip you of your manhood yeah. verbally, all that. All but that. as long as I'm giving you your body, we call it these. Even... That's crazy, it bro. Is. It is. A, it's a crazy mindset. But you know what's crazy? If you flip that though, and like <laughs> if, you if a guy. You know, you know those guys, bro. Like they drive their girl's whip. She gives him the money to get the mm, haircut. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like he must, he must be slinging something. You know what I mean? Like he yeah. must be throwing it down. Something, something's working. Yeah. But like, but when you like, when we talk about those guys, girls will shit, shit on, on him. On. He's a bum. He don't do nothing. Clown. But, but right. we can't do that. But yo, you can't cook clean. Like I'm like, you know, I'm I'm Japanese. You know what I'm saying? I was right. born and raised there. So for uh-huh. me, like, it's a norm for like when you work all day and like. You come home, there's like a cooked meal, like right. house taken care of. 100. So that's your home. She's taking care of the home while you out there, you know, grind. You gotta grind. Right. You know what I mean? So there's a give and take there. But if I come sure. home, shit's still messy. Like, yo, there's no cooked food. Now I got to, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's, then what are you bringing to the table? Right. What are you doing to help me out? Right. Mm. And uh, remember this one girl, she was like, um, she was like, you know that something in the store that your mom tell you not to touch? Mm-hmm. I'm that nothing. What? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm like, wait, wait. So I'm that nothing. Yeah. Uh, sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. So she was like, so I was like, well, please elaborate for me because I'm yeah. clearly fucking confused. <laughs> you feel me? Yes. So she was like, um, she was like, well, I bring that much significance to somebody that when you go to the store, like I'm, I bring so much to a man that um, he. I don't have to do anything for him. Just they, the same yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just that's like, a wild statement, yo. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with she, these women, dog? She got, she got I'm it. not nothing, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> but you know what it is though, <laughs> like, shit, and I'm not even trying because like this is like kind of our bag, like. Yeah. I think it's something that they kind of instill. Like, what happens when you break up? What does the girl? What does her her homegirl say? You don't got to change nothing. He ain't he shit. shit. You mm-hmm. perfect just the way you, you are. are. And they never fix those flaws, those things. So then they just Man. keep yo, sticking to that so mindset. Preach, preach, you know what dog. I mean? Bro. Yeah. Because, yo, guys, we don't do that. Nah. Damn, yo, you know what, bro? You was kind of flawed for what you did. But you know what? Let's move on and maybe do better in the next maybe one. Right. Next that's time. that's right. Just what I say to my guys. Yeah. Right. But if, if we said no, King... You stay, nah, you she, keep she doing what you do. She whack, man. She yeah. whack. Stay, it ain't no. you. Fam, stay controlling, bro. Stay like, controlling? <laughs> yeah. We can't, we can't say that, nah, man. Nah, nah, right. So. How y'all feel about jealous women? Uh, Keeping the curse. I think to an extent. <laughs> to an extent. To an, and, but you know what? It's the same thing for girls. They want a man that's not jealous, <laughs> not but, also, but also not controlling. Mm. Like, they want you to be, if she goes out with Duke, <laughs> you can't be upset, but at the same time, you got to still show that you care. You yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, text you while I'm next to him. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, what like, the fuck? I don't like that. No, but jealous women, I I don't know if I want an overly jealous girl, but I also don't want a girl that just doesn't care when I go out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because then, like, if you if you think, I mean, it could be just her not really caring. Like, oh, yeah, do your thing, whatever, I'm cool with it. <laughs> or it could be like, yeah, do your thing so like I can do my thing. Because, like, there's no, because, like, there's, yep. you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that, if you're not, if you're not the one to at least kind of, like, give them that, like, you know, attention, like, you know, the, the jealousy, I guess, or just a sense of caring, then then now you're on something. Like, oh, who are you talking to? Like, you haven't hit me back. Like, why are you not hitting me back? <laughs> but I'm like, yo, just have a good night or whatever. Like, yeah. right, yo. But, yeah. like, that's, a, that's how it goes, man. I mean, if, like you said, like, if uh, you want someone to be, like, kind of, because, like, they, it shows that they kind of care, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. cute. I think it's cute to an it's extent. Cute. Like, just don't, like, roll up and follow me, at, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't be my surveillance camera, Shit, no, don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, yep. me too. <laughs> Yo, man, speaking of sense, bro, have y'all had like any homeboys? Y'all ain't gotta call their name. Right, like, right. Y'all had any homeboys or uh, a family members that's been simps and y'all just? Oh yeah, I got, I got a list right now. I'll pull it up. No, I'm uh, <laughs> I mean we, you know. So like, seen some, like in some my time. circle, I'm very, 
very anti. I'm not anti simp. I mean, <laughs> but like, there's certain things that yeah. like, if my friends do that, I comes off as simp behavior. Ah. I do check them on it. Okay. Because it's a responsibility as a homeboy to always stay thorough Talk and authentic. So yeah. like, if my friend does some simp shit, I have to check him. Like, dude, you, you can't. You're kind of falling out of pocket. Mm. Yeah. So you hold them accountable. I do yeah. hold them accountable. accountable. Sometimes too much to the point where, you know. Everybody fights each other. Everybody <laughs> wants to fight me, but you know. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'd rather that than them go through that and like and then, be that and way. Then, and, then, and then months later, like, damn, I could have just like. Why yeah. you didn't tell me? Yeah, why you tell me yeah, that yeah, I was going to do that? That's real, bro. I respect that. Um, Man, it, it just hurt when you see your homeboy or your cousin or somebody like doing that shit. Because it's like, bro, we cut from a different cloth, cloth bro. We don't, we don't do that. Like, I guess like what to you, what is like. Your definition of a simp, like that that you're thinking of right now. Um, my like something like a Captain Saver, oh, Captain Saver, Save, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. or or somebody that's like willing to just open their wallet to any and every girl. Mm, and see, yeah. like for example, <clears throat> I'm on Twitter because I be politicking on Twitter a lot, mm-hmm. mostly if I'm ranting about my bucks. But that's Facts. All that's all sorry. Um, and I seen this one 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 dude. He was like kind of pandering to girls. Mm. He was like, yeah, all men ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. A heterosexual male. Yeah. Now, no uh, offense to the LGBTQ community, nah. but it's a straight dude. And he was like saying, yeah, men ain't shit. So I'm like, okay, two avenues in my mind. Either yeah. you trying to hog all the pussy for yourself. That's a fact. <laughs> or you just a bust ass. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I don't respect that, bro. Like, I, yeah, tearing down like the men. Yeah. And, like but, trying to, for his gain. Exactly, yeah, bro. That shit, that's some suck ass shit. That's wild. Yeah. That's some suck ass shit. It's kind of like, it's like almost like a form of dirty macking. It is, yeah. dirty, it is dirty macking for yeah. sure. It is dirty macking. <laughs> Yo. We've seen that before, bro. Yeah. No, but I, but I agree. Before. I feel like when guys, oh, on me. <laughs> when they change when they change their values and their stance just to impress a girl. It's crazy. It's not being like, true. Yeah. Not being thorough. That's why, like, if you watch our pod, like, I always stand on the island or it's like, well, we all have our own views, but like, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll always stick to what I think, not to agree with, because you know, I'll have, you know, we'll have girls yeah, we, DM, yeah. but like, yo, I disagree with what he said, I disagree with yeah, what he said. Yeah, all the time. All but the then time. I'm saying, well, it's, you can disagree as much as you want, but this is how we feel, and this is how, like, we're telling you, we're giving you the gems, right? right. Like, mm-hmm. so, right. take it for what it is, right. and then maybe you can learn something from it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we just, we try to be just thorough, genuine, and authentic, and, yeah. and authentic yo, because like. I think that's what I think that's what that's why people all fuck with our shit is because like they know that we just gonna die on our stance. I mean, we and him we got into arguments on the pod, yeah, like times. heated arguments, like straight up. Sometimes, but, hey man, you need that because it, it shows one is healthy dialogue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two is showing your audience, like man, you know we ain't perfect. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah, we have different perspectives, right? Mm-hmm. But um, we gonna take one more break and I'm gonna come back closing with the fellas. For sure. Be back. All right, man, back from the break. Guru speaks podcast. Still got the homies with me to sweet him in podcast. What's cracking, fellas? Shit, man. Good. We just had a good conversation, man. Yeah. You know, man. On air, off air conversations, man. Yo, so um before we close shop, man, um, tell everybody what y'all what's coming next for the brand and what y'all got coming up, man. Shit. I mean, yo, season we're in season four now. Season oh, four. Congratulations. Uh, appreciate, appreciate it, appreciate it. You know, I mean that's what, 41, 42 41 episodes, episodes 42. maybe. Um, Damn, y'all working. So we've really yeah. been working, yo, but I think I think this is gonna be like our best season yet. We mm. have a lot of um, special collabs coming up, you know. Obviously, you know we got to chop it up with you. You know what I mean. Back, we have yeah. some other other collabs, other collabs that we have in the works. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have a couple events we're gonna be attending. Oh, that's um, dope, right there. Mm-hmm. We're gonna try to do other things. We've been talking about doing this mukbang. I don't know yeah. if you ever heard of this. Nah, mukbang I ain't never heard of that. Nah. Yo, Essentially, so it's like it's yo, eating it's, a large amount of food. Like and so, like, like people are eating and talking. Yo, but there's like this dude makes like two million a year. Two mil, bro. And all uh, he does is he eats while and records it. But like we're gonna do that. Yeah. And then, look, yo, hear me out on my idea. We're going to call it the Muck Bang Bros. <laughs> okay. Right? He's looking like, you. No, you see what I'm saying? Don't say that, right? Don't say that. But, nah, but yeah, so we have some... We'll, we'll work on it. We have some other things. I mean, I don't know. That's, um, I mean, just honestly, we continue what we're doing. We have, we have a, you know, people supporting, following, listening and stuff. We really appreciate it. And just continue to grow, you know, just grow and, you know, soon to come other things, you know? For sure, for yeah, sure. man. Um, like I said, when we when I opened up the show, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big fan of y'all. I've been seeing y'all putting in work for a while. Sure, you feel man, me? Appreciate it. So, uh, definitely, I hope I can come on y'all shit yeah, so for y'all sure. can, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Definitely. And we have a partnership like that, man. Y'all got anything else? Closing remarks, y'all shout out y'all people. Um, I'm good. Yo, shout out to the Sweeter Man podcast. Show all our fans, subscribers, listeners, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely appreciate it. Um, your boy Nick. You can always find us on Instagram at the Sweeter Man Podcast. 
YouTube, Spotify, mm-hmm. all that, all that. Yeah, yeah and uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys giving us the time to be out here and all right, man. Uh, it was a good conversation. And we look forward to you know future shit. Yeah, man. Well, there you have it, episode six, Groove Speaks podcast featuring the homies of Sweetie Man podcast. The marathon continues. I'm out of yes, here. Sir. Thank <laughs> you.